trying to let my, let everything go, and it just seemed like a struggle. And uh, there was a certain point where I kind of gave up, and then it all happened. I just I was suddenly in touch with the extraordinary beauty of the birds and the sounds and the rain on my face, and and, um, and I could. Hear my senses, I was really awakened to my senses, I was really in touch with things. And you get this glorious kind of present moment experience. And so hopefully we can make these wonderful experiences uh, as well. And we want to have, we should try to have one a day. <laughs> but uh, we also go through difficult, we could also use the practice to go through stress and, and to be able to meet our more difficult emotions as well as having these wonderful experiences. These wonderful uh, experiences give us a lot of faith that this practice is something very, very uh, extraordinary, extraordinary. Uh, we, our teacher's first book was called The Miracle of Mindfulness. Uh, because it's a very simple thing that we do to become aware of what we're doing, but it can produce a miracle when we really do it. So, we, we have this full spectrum of experiences with the practice. Um, when we uh, do a walking meditation uh, and we have a lovely experience, that energy that is very nourishing and healing, and it creates uh, an energy in us which is able to meet uh, the more difficult feelings. So the happiness and the, the nourishing, wonderful uh, experience also is very helpful for us then being able to take care of the more difficult feelings. So I want to. Um, I shared about uh, taking care of strong emotions uh, this afternoon with uh, a group of uh, the staff for the university. And I just want, also want to share the same image for you to, to go home with. If you have a strong emotion, you could use this image also for your children or for young people. Just to imagine a tree in a storm and imagine in the storm, the, the tops of the branches are being swished this way and that way. And it's not so good to be in the top area. It's the equivalent of being in your head and thinking about the reason why you're angry and, or thinking about the, the situation. To be able to come down to the trunk of the tree, you imagine the tree in the storm, the trunk is the place where it's very stable and it's not getting buffeted this way and that. And the trunk of the tree in our body is, is just below the navel. We are aware of our abdomen area rising and falling. And we bring all our attention down to this area. So when we breathe in, we feel our belly rising, breathing out, it falls. And we keep our attention down here. And this is the equivalent of being in the trunk of the tree in the storm with the strong emotion. And this way, the emotion comes, it's like a storm, and after some time, the storm will naturally pass, and we have been able to stay in the trunk. Not all the time. We sometimes find ourselves back up in the trunk of the tree, like I shared about my experience with the anger, I went back into the thinking, but then we make this choice to come back again to the, just paying attention to the breath. So as much as we can do that, we will go through with less damage than and more um, resilience than if we had not done it like that. And we, we have this sense after that of not needing to be frightened about our emotions. And that is just checking on, on time. We have uh, we, we want to provide some some time for um, question and answers. And we also also have the idea to do it the the great 